Okay, today we're going to take a look at a, a unique challenge that came up um, that's not too hard to solve. Uh, here we have a form on the left side of our page. And what we want to do on the right side of our page is go out to GitHub, uh, grab an HTML file, a template email that's been created by our designers, and dynamically pull it into the page uh, on the fly. So uh, to start with, this is a look at uh, our GitHub. Um, core code here for the the email itself. Um, it does have some base64 encoding in it, so um, just so you know, it might be a little bit long uh, when you look at it the first time. Um, this is a look at what the email looks like if I just pull it up uh, in HTML uh, running locally from Adam, uh, so you can see what should appear on the page. So how do we go about doing this? Well, the first thing we're going to do uh, is in GitHub. I'm just going to refresh real quick. Uh, what we want to do is go down here and click on the raw link and copy this URL. So this will give us the direct link to the raw code itself, whereas if we call this particular page, it'll pull in the HTML and, and everything kind of around it. Um, next, uh, we want to take a look at a kind of a simple API call. Um, this is a, a very simple set of example codes here where uh, we're going to paste in uh, our, our link our, to the raw email code uh, for that our designer has given us. Uh, next, uh, just DBPM, DBMS output the file link. You know, we're trying to get the file, and then we're going to use the Apex Web Service API uh, to essentially make a git call uh, and pull in that information into a CLOB value. So let's go ahead and run this. This won't return the, the file, but it'll it'll let us know, okay, hey, yeah, the file was received and the total length is this. And you know, anytime you do this in an application, please note it's you know, bandwidth, a little bit bandwidth intensive. So, uh, but in our case, it's, it's not too bad at uh, 19 milliseconds. So uh, now the real question is, is how do we get this on the page and display it, right? We know we can get it with the API, but what do we do there? So let's go into our page designer. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a region. I'm going to go ahead and just say, hey, we're going to keep this region up here on the new line. Um, let's go ahead and say, display the email template. Uh, we're going to modify the region type into static PL SQL uh, or PL SQL uh, dynamic content. I'll go ahead and open this up. Um, I will put this link uh, to my this code in, in the footer of the YouTube video as well. Um, but essentially here, let's walk through what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to mark our raw content uh, that we're going to pull in from our designer on GitHub. Next, um, we're going to go ahead and do the Apex Web Service request like we did earlier. Uh, and then we're going to loop through and display um, the value of our CLOB, which I'll, I'll put a link to another video where we, we go into more detail on this. And essentially, uh, the core here is we're going to print uh, to the Apex page um, the HTML code that we receive. So let's go ahead and copy this. We will go back to our builder, paste it in. Let's make sure that we got everything correct. We'll hit OK. If I go back to my page here and hit refresh, that code will execute and it'll pull our template from GitHub uh, and display it on our page as HTML. Uh, 